Hi everybody, welcome to Sukhvise. In today's video, we are going to cover 12 questions related to the topic attaching trailers, which falls under the main topic of driving solo motor vehicles and trains, transporting passengers and goods. Let's begin. You want to tow a brake equipped trailer? Where can you find details or guidelines on the permissible towable mass of your car? So where you can find those guidelines? Let me show you in the ebook. The permissible trailer load according to the licensing provision part one, that is the registration certificate part one, or operating instructions must not be exceeded. So you can find these instructions in your registration certificate part one or in the operating instructions of your car manual. In the registration certificate part one of my trailer, no. In the registration certificate part one of my car, yes. In the insurance certificate, no. You can find these guidelines either in the registration certificate part one of your car or you can find in the instruction manual of your car. You want to couple a trailer to your car. Where will you find details about the maximum permissible vertical loading of your car? This question is similar to the previous question. Where you can find those instructions in the operating manual of your car or in the registration certificate part one. Let me show you once again. The permissible trailer load according to the licensing provision part one, that is registration certificate part one or operating instructions must not be exceeded. Operating instructions means the operating manual of your car. So in these two documents, you can find What's the maximum permissible vertical loading of your car? What must you check on a car with a caravan trailer before setting out on a journey? Whether the lights of the trailer are working? Exactly. Whether the passengers in the caravan trailer have put on the safety belts? Wrong. Whether the view through the rear view mirrors is adequate? This is also important. Let me show you here. So you have to check for the lighting. For example, the lighting devices must be clean and in good working condition and they should not be concealed by the load. And here about the rear view mirrors, the trailer load is actual load being towed and not the permissible total mass of the trailer. The trailer and the cargo must not impair the view of the rear traffic significantly. Otherwise, additional rear view must be fixed. So two things are important, your additional rear view mirrors and your lighting devices. So these are the options, so lights and the rear view mirror. When does braking action of a trailer with overrun brake start? So what is overrun brake? So when the trailer runs up to the truck, these brakes are activated. So this is the definition of overrun brake. The overrun brake is a brake system which is commonly used on small trailers. And whenever there is a motion of the trailer with respect to a towing vehicle, then these brakes are activated. When the brake pedal in the truck is activated, no. Before the braking action of the truck starts, so the truck and trailer remains extended, no. So this is when your trailer runs towards the towing vehicle, the overrun brakes starts. You're holding a driving permit class B. Your car has the following specifications. Empty mass, 1900 kg. Permissible total mass, 2400 kg. Permissible towed load, 1500 kg. Which trailers are you allowed to tow? So in this case, you see a number of figures, right? But the most important is your permissible total mass. And here in the options, there is a trailer, a trailer with a permissible total mass of 1200,000, 1500. Before answering the question, let me show you here in the ebook. Class B is sufficient when the permitted total mass of the trailer is maximum 750 kg, right? So if the permitted total mass of the trailer is 750 kg, then class B is sufficient. The permitted total mass of the trailer exceeds 750 kg. So this is what the question is all about. The permitted total mass of the vehicle combination must not exceed 3500 kg. Coming back to the question. So in this case, we see the trailer mass is more than 750 kg, right? And what we see, permissible total mass 2400 kg. You have to pick up the options in the way that the permissible total mass of your car and permissible total mass of your trailer should be less than 3500 kg. In this case, it will be 1000. Why is it so? Because 2400 plus 1000, it is 3400 kg, which is less than 3500 kg. Moving towards the next, you want to pull a trailer when do additional rear view mirrors have to be attached to your motor vehicle? If you are pulling a caravan or a trailer used in agriculture and forestry, if it's not possible to observe all relevant road traffic situations without additional rear view mirrors, this makes sense. If the load platform on the trailer exceeds a width of 1.5 meter and a height of 1 meter, there's no such rule. So you have to put additional rear view mirrors if it's not possible to observe all the relevant road traffic situation without additional rear view mirrors. Let me show you in the ebook. So for example here, the trailer and the cargo must not impair the view of the rear traffic significantly, otherwise additional rear view mirrors must be fixed. So this is what we have here in the option. 
which strangest defects can have occurred on a trailer with overrun brakes, which has been parked for some time. As I have told you earlier, that overrun brake is a system which is basically used on small trailers. So whenever the trailer is in motion with respect to towing vehicles, then the brakes are activated. Cable connections can be defective, yes. The brakes may not work because of rust, yes. Tire pressure may have increased greatly due to exposure to the sun, no. The first two options are the correct ones. So you have to check for the cable connections and for the brakes if they are working properly, if your trailer has been parked for some time. You want to pull a trailer, what must you be aware of? The maximum permitted load of the trailer, yes. Towable weight of the towing vehicle, yes. Vertical load of the hitch, yes. All the things they are important. What is designated as towed load? Actual load. The actual load being towed is known as towed load. Let me show you here. The trailer load is the actual load being towed and not the permissible total mass of the trailer. So this is the option here. The actual load being towed is designated as a towed load. You want to tow a single axle car when trailer behind your car, what must you check? If additional rear view mirrors must be mounted because of the width of the trailer, yes. If the permissible trailer load or the permissible coupling of the car are exceeded, yes. If the trailer is licensed to transport passengers, this is wrong. So you have to check for the rear view mirrors and also you have to check if the permissible trailer load or the permissible coupling of the car are exceeded. They are the important points. What must you bear in mind when loading a single axle trailer? The permissible load on the coupling, your total mass and axle load. All the things you have to keep in mind whenever you are loading a single axle trailer. A single axle trailer has an actual gross weight of 600 kg. What is the minimum possible vertical load? So minimum possible vertical load is 4% of 600 kg which in this case is the 24 kg. Let me show you here. So here it is written. The permissible trailer nose weight specified in the user manual or the ball shaped coupling must be observed. It must be at least 4% of the actual trailer load per 25 kg suction. So in the question, actual trailer load is 600 and 4% of that is the 24 kg. Here we complete 12 questions of attaching trailers, which falls under the main topic of driving solar motor vehicles and trains, transporting passengers and goods. Thanks for watching. If you have liked my video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you are interested in any particular topic, please feel free to write in comment section. Take care. See you next time.